So Apple has quietly entered the AI chatbot arena, but with tech giants like Microsoft, Meta, and Google already making major moves, does Apple have a secret weapon up its sleeve, or are they playing catch-up? Well, recent buzz from their headquarters suggests they're in the process of developing an AI chatbot named Apple GPT. This could well be the comeback they need in this domain. So what is this new AI chatbot from Apple? Well, according to some reports, it's built on a framework called Ajax, which is designed to create large language models. Ajax is actually based on Google's JAX framework, which is a Python library that lets you write code that runs on GPUs and TPUs. They are essential for training large language models because they can handle huge amounts of data and complex mathematical operations. But why did Apple choose Google's JAX framework for its AI chatbot? Well, JAX is flexible and powerful, letting you run code on different devices easily. It can calculate gradients essential for improving neural networks in large language models. Apple might also have wanted to benefit from Google's cloud tools and AI expertise, viewing Google as a helpful ally in AI projects. Apple prioritized security since they're big on user privacy. They encrypt everything to protect against hackers. However, generative AI, which can make fake content like news or videos, raised security concerns. Worried about the dangers of this tech, Apple was cautious in developing its chatbot. At first, only a few Apple employees could test the chatbot, and they needed approval from higher-ups. These testers used the chatbot for tasks like creating mock-ups for new products and summarizing texts. For instance, someone making a new app might have the chatbot design sample interfaces, or a researcher might get help summarizing a paper. Overall, the employees found the chatbot efficient and useful. To be honest, it seems that Apple is a bit late to the party. Other tech giants have been working on generative AI for a while now and have launched their own products and services based on it. Like, Microsoft has integrated ChatGPT into its Bing search engine and its Office suite. Google has used BARD to improve its Google Search and Google Assistant. And Meta has released several open-source large language models, such as Llama 2. Apple, on the other hand, has been private about its generative AI project, only recently sharing any information. They haven't attended AI conferences or shared their research with the AI community. Why? Because Apple has its own approach to generative AI. They don't want to hurry or over-promote. Apple is slowly adding its chatbot to its products and services, making sure it fits well. They don't want to put it everywhere without careful consideration. Apple's AI chatbot, Apple GPT, might have several uses in their products. In Siri, it could make interactions feel more like you're talking to a human and customize responses better to individual needs. With iMessage, you could potentially have a chat that feels like you're conversing with a friend, mentor, or tutor, seeking advice, humor, or knowledge. In the Photos app, you could enhance or create images based on your instructions. Using the Music app, you might be able to craft or remix songs, producing melodies, beats, or lyrics tailored to your taste. And in the Podcasts app, you could either listen to or make content on various topics. These are just some ideas, and Apple probably has more innovative uses in mind. So what does all of this imply for Apple's future and its products? In my opinion, it has a huge significance. Apple has consistently been a pioneer in technology, known for its top-notch quality, design, and user experience. But recently, it's been criticized for losing its innovative spark and falling behind in the artificial intelligence race. Some say it's not as competitive anymore. I don't believe that. Apple is still a strong player. They're working hard to make great products and services. Apple is also investing a lot in AI and looking into new opportunities. And I think Apple's new AI chatbot is a proof of that. But what's their plan for this AI chatbot? So far, Apple hasn't given us much information about its release, features, or compatible devices. But we do know some things. Like who is leading the charge for this project? And they are some of the best in the business. One of them is John Gianandrea, who is Apple's Senior Vice President of Machine Learning and AI Strategy. He joined Apple in 2018 after working at Google for eight years, where he led the search and AI teams. He's responsible for overseeing Siri, Core ML, Computer Vision, Natural Language Processing, and other AI-related technologies at Apple. He is also one of the key architects of Ajax, the framework behind Apple's AI chatbot. Another one is Craig Federighi, who is Apple's Senior Vice President of Software Engineering. He came to Apple in 2009, having previously worked at Next and Ariba. 
He oversees software products like iOS, Mac OS, and iCloud. He played a major role in adding Ajax to Apple's offerings. These two men are key figures at Apple, with significant knowledge in AI and software development. They're passionate about AI's potential for Apple and its users. Many engineers, researchers, and other staff support them in AI-related tasks at Apple. They are also guided by Tim Cook, Apple's CEO and leader. In fact, Tim Cook has been very vocal and supportive of AI at Apple. He has said that AI is one of the most important technologies of our time and that AI can make our lives better and easier. He also said that AI can help us solve some of the biggest challenges we face as a society. And he has hinted that there might be something big coming from Apple related to AI next year, something that will blow our mind. Could it be a public AI chatbot, a new AI product, or a partnership involving their AI chatbot? Whatever it is, it's likely to be impressive and make Apple enthusiasts thrilled. Now, after Bloomberg broke the news about Apple's new AI chatbot, Apple's share price soared by $3.80 per share to over $197. The news also broke soon after Microsoft and Meta announced the open source release of the Llama 2. Joseph Bory, the research director for Global Data, thinks Microsoft's decision to release the LLM as open source is a big deal for the AI industry. Bloomberg mentioned that Apple isn't sure yet how to introduce their AI technology to the public. Apple's uncertainty about their AI release seems related to Microsoft and Meta's open source move. While OpenAI's ChatGPT was given to the public for free, Bory points out that Meta and Microsoft have done something new. They've shared the internal workings of their AI model. This means companies can set up Llama on their own systems, use the initial setup, and have a fully prepared Llama running for them. Bory thinks that this move might make it hard for companies like OpenAI to make money from such technology in the future. He questions if, with a model like Llama 2 being potentially as good as OpenAI's GPT, how can others profit if Meta is offering it for free? Apple might be concerned about this, especially since there's been talk about them not keeping up in the AI advancements. Interestingly, after Bloomberg's report, Microsoft's stock value dropped a bit. We'll have to wait and see if Apple's AI, Apple GPT, can compete with current LLMs or if they're just trying to keep up in the AI world. But what do you think? What's your take on Apple's AI chatbot? Its features, potential, challenges, competitors, or the visionaries behind it? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this topic. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.